Now, fire investigators in DeKalb County are trying to figure out what caused an overnight apartment fire that sadly killed a man in his 60s. Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm is live for us not far from I-20, just off of Snapfinger Woods Drive. And Rebecca, firefighters have made some progress in their investigation, right? They have, Don and Lana. Good afternoon to you. They believe the fire started in the bedroom. I want to show you because you can see this is where most of the damage was. This is the backside of the apartment. The man was still alive when firefighters found him in his laundry room. I spoke with a neighbor who lives one building over here at Snapwoods Apartments, and she tells me she got a strange feeling overnight when she heard some popping sounds. And I looked out my window and I said, oh my God, it's a fire. The woman whose voice you're hearing didn't want us to show her face and she didn't want to take credit, even though she called 911 and was apparently the first to take action. So I told my daughter, like, hurry, get out the, get out the building. We got to save these people. So that's what we did. They banged on doors and thought they got everyone out of their apartments. It's devastating because they said they had found them in the laundry room. Other neighbors watched from a different angle as firefighters tried to rescue a man who was still trapped. They pulled him out through the roof. So and then they laid him on the ground and did CPR. It looks like he attempted to rescue himself, but un unfortunately he succumbed to his injuries at the hospital. The neighbor who called 911 says she was devastated to learn the man did not survive, but she takes comfort knowing she followed her instincts. Because if I would have went to sleep, the whole building would have been on fire and I would have woke up to more devastating news, so I'm, I'm very grateful. And firefighters tell me they are not investigating this as arson, that it appears to be an accident. We will let you know when we confirm the victim's name. Live in DeKalb County, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First.